gravity bound the ejected particles together, creating a moon that is the largest in the solar system in relation to its host planet. Hello, everybody. This is my second week game against, uh, I think they're called Dion team because they did not pick a name. Um, first, let's go over the team that I have. Uh, I will once again have my opponent's team in the bottom right corner of the screen. Um, and uh, I've just installed uh, basically like a wrapper for, I don't know if wrapper is the right term. Uh, some sort of style for my uh, Pokemon Showdown that's supposed to emulate like uh, Octopath sprites. And I think that's really cool. So that's why I'm playing the Octopath music here. Um, so first off, we have 13, the Dragapult. Uh, this is a mixed attacking Dragapult. We have just enough speed to outspeed Deoxys. Deoxys, sorry, Darkrai. I always say Deoxys instead of Darkrai. I don't understand wh why I do that. Um, but I've got uh, you, uh, T Wave, Hex, Darts, and U Turn um, with a Culber Berry. The idea being that I want to uh, Fender Wave a potential uh, Tornadus. Um, Culber Berry so that I don't take as much damage from Knockoff. Um, it's pretty simple. Not much. Uh, to really talk about there. I do have my uh, attack stats such that I've got a guaranteed to hit KO on Tornadus uh, if it's not running max HP. I think the Smogon uh, Assault Vest set is what I've uh, to hit KOing. Um, in any case, this should be okay. It should help me versus Heatran, Tornadus, etc. Uh, next, I have the High Priestess. Uh, so this is a pretty standard sword stance set, except I have Power Herb Dig. Uh, Power Herb Dig is a one-hit KO on uh, Heatran after, I think, two layers of spikes. Um, so... Maybe we'll get the spikes up, hopefully, and get that not, uh, knockout. If not, uh, that's okay. I'll, I'll take 80% on Heatran. Um, oh, and if it's an offensive Heatran, it'll just straight up die, of course. Um, but, yeah. I, we, we have max speed here so that we're speed tying the, the Dark Rye. I said it right this time. Um, pretty standard. Not much else to say about this set. Next, we've got uh, Ogre Pond making his debut, her debut, actually, because Ogre Ponds are all female. Um, we're running enough speed to get past, I believe, Zerud. Um, and then just the rest in attack and special defense. Special defense just, you know, to take less damage from special moves from Tornadus and Darkrai. Not really, again, not really much to say here, but this is my Spiker, and I've got Encore, just in case uh, Claude Zire is going to try to set up on me, or if I have to um, stop something else from setting up, like maybe a uh, Iron Hands clicking Sword Stance. Next is Temperance, uh, Max Defense. Uh, we've got four speed and, or four EVs and speed to speed creep. Uh, a an iron hands perhaps my opponent puts uh four speed in or enough speed to get to like this 157 to outspeed a no speed sylveon so we're gonna uh speed tie that i probably should have done eight speed just to make sure but uh eh whatever <laughs> um Wish Protect, uh, Hyper Voice. Those are pretty standard Sylveon moves. I mean, Copycat. Uh, I have Copycat just for, I don't know, Tornadus, if it's going to U-turn or knock off, um, and I can do that back to it. That could be good. Um, there may be another Mon that uh, does something like that. I don't know off the top of my head which would. Maybe Zerud. Um, but, uh, yeah, just keeping it... Um, Keeping it pretty standard, except for this copycat. 
Um, now we have the moon. Uh, this is my Iron Hands answer. <laughs> uh, the max defense uh, and resisting fighting is going to be really good. And then we have Strength Sap and Leech Seed to keep uh, keep the speed. Or sorry, keep the attack and HP up. Uh, I don't know what I was saying there. <laughs> um, Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain, pretty standard for uh, Vile Plume. Um, maybe I could have run uh, Moon Blast because he does have a, a few Fairy Weeks, but eh. We'll just uh, stick with this. Um, this should be good enough. And then we have the tower as our spinner. Heavy duty boots, stealth rocks. We're doing a uh, physical with rock blast and earthquake. Uh, reason being because earthquake is just going to do more damage to most Heatran than um, earth power is going to do. And then rock blast is kind of nice for uh, tornadoes. I could potentially get a lot of damage there. Um, that's basically it, so uh, let's go ahead and get into the battle here. All right, so here is the battle. Um, these are the six that I guessed that uh, my opponent would bring. Zarud was a possibility, but I thought to myself, well... Um, Zarud does not match up really well into Weavile, um, and you know you you want something that uh, potentially could uh, win you the game with Necrozma. That's a potential win con there. Um, that's the only mod that I would say that you could replace on this team. Um, but uh, yeah, like a weakness policy Necrozma doesn't do that bad into Weavile. You get the DD, you're faster, and then. Uh, you smash with uh, whatever whatever move X Scissor I think is what they're using, um, but uh, spoiler this is not a DD Necrozma I don't think so. <laughs> um, let's just go into this battle. Uh, for me I'm gonna lead Colossal because I figure that Colossal leads pretty well into this team. Uh, if he goes Heatran I can just Terra right away. Um, because, uh, you know, I'm Terra Flying. Uh, I'll dodge the Earth Power. If he leads anything else, uh, we'll just see what we have to do. Uh, so he does leave Heatran. Um, I actually will not go for uh, the, t the Terra right away. Because um, I didn't think he was going to stay in. I didn't think he was going to take an Earthquake. Uh, but he did. Uh, so we just hit that. I... Again, I didn't think he was going to stay in, so I rock blasted here, expecting Tornadoes to come out. Um, and then I just uh, go for uh, Rapid Spin. At that point, I probably should have Terra'd, but um, whatever. I always live that. I go for an Earthquake here, uh, expecting him to taunt me again, because he was playing very weird, so... <laughs> but he does go into Tornadoes at this point. Um, he knocks off my Leftovers, which sucks. Uh, but he gets a U-turn off. That would have been a great turn to hit Copycat, but I would hit Wish. Um, I go to Vile Plume, because I don't want anything to get toxic. Uh, and I'm just going to Leech Seed. Uh, get a little bit of chip on Claude's Ire. I'm going to go straight to Colossal here because he's probably going to keep setting up spikes. I can't imagine him earthquaking into that. Now I Terra and Rapid Spin the spikes away, which is good. Um, I'm going to stay in because I was thinking that he might go for Hypnosis. We don't have Sleep Moves banned. Um, if we scroll up to the top here, we have uh, the Sleep Claws mod limit to put one foe to Sleep, not the Sleep Moves ban. Um, in any case, uh, I get my rocks up. And I'm satisfied with what uh, Colossal has done, so I'm just going to Earthquake to get damage on Darkrai. But he actually goes hard Heatran, which is interesting. At this point, I have a switch in, so I'm going to switch to Vile Plume. He goes for Volt Switch. Volt Switch tells me that he's probably Assault Vest because a Swords Dancing, uh, a Swords Dancing Iron Hand usually doesn't run a Volt Switch, um, and if you're not running Swords Dance, then you might as well run Assault Vest. I don't think there's any other item that's particularly great for a non-Swords Dance. 
Maybe you, you could maybe have Lumberry still, but um, I'm just going to keep that in mind. Uh, I'm going to hard switch to Sylveon because it takes the Bleak Wind Storm the best. Um, I get a Wish here. I'm going to protect so that I don't get crit or anything. Don't give him a chance to U-turn either. Um, I think here, I think he's going to go for U-turn so I copycat. Um, unfortunately, he went for Bleak Wind and I missed. So that sucks. Um, I'm just going to send another Wish here. This is pretty much clockwork. Uh, I take like absolutely nothing from that. So that tells me that not only is he uh, Assault Vest, but he's uh, like basically no attack investment either, which is really insane. Um, I go for Protect to make sure that I live. Um, I was going to switch, but he switches. Um, he hits Trick Room, but this is really weird because uh, I'm minus one speed from the Bleak Wind Storm earlier, so I'm going to underspeed him and like get all of my moves off in Trick Room. Uh, I did go to Showdown Calculator to see what set uh, Necrozma runs when it's Trick Room, and it said it was likely going to be Power Herb Meteor Beam, so that's what I was uh, anticipating. Um, this... I think with plus one, Meteor Beam does something like 63 max. I don't know the calc like perfectly off the top of my head, but I knew I lived it unless he crit. But he goes for it and he misses, which is which sucks. <laughs> and I say weave back because when he dodged my move, he said weave. Um, that's really bad for him. Uh, I probably would have had to sack Sylveon. Not necessarily to the Claude's ire, but um, at some point uh, had had he hit that he goes to iron hands um he doesn't know that uh vile plume is the iron hands counter it's really nice to resist its dual stab um so i just get the leech seed uh and it's gonna it's gonna die <laughs> the crit giga drain maybe mattered probably not um probably would have died to whatever so he goes to dark rye um i guess he's fishing for the flinch um, if he gets the flinch there, he will kill for sure, but then I can always revenge with Dragapult, who is faster. Unless he's, uh, Scarf, which I guess he could be, but if he is Scarf, then, uh, any number of my Pokemon will live, uh, a Scarf Dark Pulse, including Weavile. Um, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna save my Vile Plume and go to, uh, Temperance here. Um, and this is basically a, a one end game. There's like basically nothing that my opponent can do at this point. It's looking pretty bad, like a 6 0. Um, I'm just going to wish to make sure that my Sylveon doesn't die. Uh, and then Hyper Voice to get uh, damage on the Tornado. So either force it to switch or uh, he might be just sacking it. Um, I'm going to get. One more Hyper Voice here, then I'm going to Wish again. Um, and then I'm going to go to uh, Colossal, because he's going to Heat Wave. I'm Flash Fire. I get my Flash Fire boost. He goes for Heat Wave again. I guess he just gave up. Um, granted, it's not like Bleak Wind's going to do a ton either. Um, he goes to Claude Zire. I Earthquake it. Uh, he, he gets, he pops his eye, a pop a berry. He goes for recover. Um, I spin the hazards away. I say if he's going to spam recover, let me go to Ogre Pond. Um, because I've got Encore and he goes for spike there. I Encore and yeah, Leech Seed's going to two at KO. So GG. It's over. Um, yeah, not much. <laughs> Not much else to say for my part. I think I played that pretty well. Probably my worst part was right at the beginning against the Heatran. I did not have to take that Earth Power. Um, but, uh, and saving the Terra was not super duper necessary. Um, I think I'm technically a little bit better if I don't Terra versus uh, Tornadus, but it's not really much of a concern really <laughs> um i guess i'm also forcing uh the iron hands to click fighting type moves if i don't terra um 
Whereas you can kind of go for a safe uh, Thunder Punch if I do Terra. So, say la vie. It's not a really big deal. Um, yeah, Weavile and Dragapult didn't even hit the field this game, I don't think. So, it was a 6-0, and I didn't even use two of my guys. And they were two of my top guys as well. So, I also didn't bring Slowking. So, I don't know if that just means that uh, I'm better, or if my team was just really well constructed into his. Um, I'm going to say it's probably more the latter than the former. Um, and, yeah, uh, I'm... I'm really happy with this performance uh yeah i had a lot of health still on a lot of these guys so it's really good um as for my opponent what could they have done differently i don't know i really don't know i mean this trick room the charisma set wasn't fantastic i think i i personally think the weakness policy weakness policy dd set would have been better um, additionally, with this uh, Iron Hands, I understand wanting to have the uh, the Assault Vest to uh, slow down Dragapult, potentially, but I, I think SD would have gotten a lot better use. Uh, when I've got Vile Plume and Sylveon as potential walls to it uh, that you cannot... You, you barely 2 it KO. Uh, in the case of Sylveon... I actually would have been 2 KO'd by Heavy Slam, but not necessarily if I had the leftovers still. Um, yeah, I think you needed uh, an SD, especially if, when you're running so low attack investment. Um, but in any case, uh, yeah, the rest of the team, I really don't know what could have been better for him. Uh, when I played uh, some mocks, the only time I ever lost was uh, when the uh, Iron Hands froze. Uh, one of my uh, Iron Hands answers, like Vile Plume or Sylveon with a nice punch. So, uh, I was just hoping that that wouldn't happen. And when I saw uh, Volt Switch, I was pretty happy because I was like, oh, this might not be Ice Punch. Uh, and I guess he wasn't. Um, yeah, but that's enough rambling. Uh, GG's to my opponent. And uh, next time I will be reviewing uh, all the other games from the week. So... We'll see you then.